Hello guys, in this video, we'll discuss and review the latest Rust stable release, Rust 190.0. This is the 18th September 2025 version bump, which will review and observe the changes in this video. So make sure you stick around and watch till the end. Let's start with the exciting or I would say the main update of this version bump, which is the default linker for x86-64 Linux is changed to LLD linker from BFT. Now before we discuss the importance of this change, let's remind ourselves what is a linker and when is it used. So it doesn't matter if you are new to Rust or a seasoned programmer, let's refresh in our memory. When you build or compile your Rust application, compiler turns code into object files and then linker combines object files into a single executable which is the binary which is then executed. So it's the most important step in your compiler cycle. Obviously there are a few more steps which we can talk on other day. But for now, let's focus on uh, linker and linker basically is the main step for building your final binary, uh, which is then executed. Now, since we understand the change, this should result in improved linking performance, which basically mean reduce compilation time. So if you're building for target x86-64 unknown Linux GNU, make sure to update to Rust 190.0 and this affects any environment like bare metal vm docker ci wherever you build for this target with latest stable you, you should get faster builds and it's also ensured that the builds will be backward compatible with bft so you won't face any issues now let's move to our second update which is cargo adds native support for workspace publishing this change is pretty handy if you have been contributing to the rust community by building your own crates or at times a workspace of crates where you have normal crates maybe utils or macro crates so previously in the old style uh, you have a workspace with crates let's say there is a normal crate there is a crates with macros there is a utils crate and what we do is you pick the order manually how you want to publish and then you publish like crate a crate b or crate c or there are some github repos with some tools that can help you publish as well as a workspace but now it's supported natively with the command that is cargo publish workspace which now automatically publishes all the crates in the workspace in the right order following any dependencies between them so you run cargo publish it verifies build all the crates together and uh, compute the dependency order and accordingly publishes your crates but remember uh, this command still doesn't ensure automaticity so if there are any failures or any network issues some crates may publish and others may not so there is no guarantee of atomicity like you know all publishes or none that's not the case what it happens is in case of network issues you might have some uh, irregular states uh, which you might not want but still to have a try and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this change now this is something we did talk in the previous version bump as well rust 189.0 which basically means if you have a target mac os x86 64 and runners or you have a mac machine with intel chip it's time to upgrade because rust has demoted x86-64 apple darwin to tier 2 which basically means rust 1.89.0 was the last rust release stable release on the target so it's basically time for you to move away from uh, the target and that's for the all major changes that we have in rust 190.0 i would say pretty minor version looking at the chain set not too much exciting stuff but let's look at some of the stabilized APIs that we always get at the end in the normal as well as in the cons context. So let's uh, play around with a few in uh, Rust Playground with the latest stable version. So let's check the first one, which is saying check sub signed uh, in the signed uh, variable. So this method check sub signed allows checked subtraction of a signed integer from an unsigned integer returning none if the operation would result in an overflow and if you run it in the prior version you will get an error because it's unstable but on this version it's pretty stable similarly you can try out other stabilized apis on your end and if you run into any problems reach me on my discord or in the comment i'll be happy to help now similarly let's look at one from the cons context so let's look at floor of uh, f32 so right here we have an example and we just do x which is an x uh, f32 and we take the floor 
and boom we have our answer but in the prior version again it fails with an error that it's not yet stable so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys uh, learned something new in this latest rust release if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye, -bye.